Hi guys, in this video, I'll show you a super simple way to install Linux on your Android phone. No root access is required and you don't even need to use Termux. Yes, you heard that right. We'll be using an app called Nomone Desktop, a powerful all-in-one solution that lets you run a full Linux environment directly on your phone. With this setup, you can code in your favorite programming language, connect a keyboard and mouse, browse the web, and even multitask, just like on a real computer. It effectively transforms your phone into a fully functional Linux system. The best part? It's incredibly easy to install and set up. So without wasting more time, let's dive right in. First, let me show you that my device is rooted or not. I'll open Root Checker app, and as you can see, my device is not rooted. Now let's install Nomone app, so head over to the Google Play Store and search for Nomone. Here is the app, simply click on Install button to install it. Make sure you have at least 8GB of free space and a good internet connection to download Linux. Once installed, open the app and first click on the Continue Trial button. And then you'll see a clean, user-friendly launcher. Look for the Linux icon and tap on it. A confirmation message will pop up asking if you want to download the Linux image. Just click on Continue button to start the download. The app takes care of all the setup automatically, so you just need to wait until the download finishes. This process might take 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your phone and internet speed, so be patient and let this process complete. While the download is completing, let's adjust some settings. Tap anywhere on the screen, then tap on Settings. Enable this option, Start Linux Full Screen. Also, from the general options, you can set the resolution according to your screen after the installation is complete. Alright, as you can see, the download is now complete. Just click on OK and then simply tap the Linux launcher again to boot into your full Linux desktop environment. If you're using Android 12 or later, you might encounter an issue known as phantom process killing where Android unexpectedly terminates background processes, causing your Linux session to crash. To fix this, we need to enable developer options first. Go to Settings, then About Phone. Here, find the build number and tap on it seven times to enable developer options. Once enabled, go back and find developer options in the system settings. Now, go back to the app and in Developer Options, look for Wireless Debugging and enable it. Make sure your device is connected to a Wi-Fi network. Otherwise, you won't be able to enable Wireless Debugging. Now, click on Next and then Next again. Now, we need to enter the port number, so scroll down in Wireless Debugging and you will see the IP address and port. Enter this 5-digit port into Nomone, then click on Next. Now, it's asking for a pairing code. So, tap on option Pair Device with Pairing Code and enter the 6-digit code displayed into Nomone. Now, it is asking for port number. So, here is port number which is 37303. Just enter in the app and then click on Next. And there it is. Wireless debugging is now connected. This means our fix is applied and Linux should run without issues. Now, close the settings and go back to Nomone and tap the Linux launcher again. And there you have it. We are now fully booted into a Linux desktop environment on Android. You can fully customize the look and feel of your Linux environment right from the settings. You can switch between dark mode or light mode depending on your preference. You can also change the icon theme, cursor style and many other UI elements to match your personal setup. Now let's check the system details. If I run NeoFetch in the terminal, you'll see all the system information. It's based on Debian. The desktop environment is GNOME and why you can also check CPU usage, RAM usage and many other system metrics. 
It also comes with Muon Package Manager, which contains thousands of packages. From here, you can easily update or download any available packages just like you would on a full Linux desktop. Linux on Gnomeon also comes with pre-installed Firefox, allowing you to browse the web, watch YouTube videos, and access any online content seamlessly. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe now. It takes a lot of effort to create these tutorials, and your support means a lot. So, enjoy an intuitive, multi-window environment with no need for extra apps like VNC viewers. Everything is built into Gnomeon desktop. And that's it. With just a few taps, you can install Linux desktop on your Android phone without the risks of rooting or the hassle of Tamux. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tutorials. If you are facing any issues, do let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Jarvis signing off.